We're chatting to Shawnee Bosman from Murray and Roberts Running Club. A tough year for all athletes, Shawnee. Uh, you know, a lot of events cancelled and the big one. You're a former Comrades Marathon winner and, you know, it's a goal race for you every year and this year it's not happening. It's been tough. Yeah, it's been really tough. I must say, um, when I went into lockdown, I got myself a treadmill from HBC and I, the whole time I was believing until the 14th of June it's going to happen. So I've been training really, really hard through the whole lockdown in my house. And it was a really big disappointment, but you know, and sometimes things happen for a reason. And I just shifted my my focus of um, getting myself much stronger for next year. And to make it, I just said to myself, next year I'm gonna make it a bigger, better race for myself. Make it my best ever race. So yeah, so we all in this together, and it's not just for me. All of us can't run comrades. So get a new focus point and just to enjoy this time because every time this time of the year you train quite hard and um, um, the whole time I've been thinking it's such nice weather at this point. It would have been like two weeks before comments would have happened. And yeah, but you know, it's, yeah, we will see what's going to happen next year and we will just keep positive and just tell myself next year I'm going to be stronger for the 2021. You made a good point there, and lockdown's been tough for a lot of people. First, no running or no getting out, then restricted times that you, you could get out. Um, but I love what you said about strength, and I think for a lot of people out there, that's a good point for them as well. Yes, it's disappointing, maybe they were novices, but this was a chance to get fitter and stronger and build towards next year. Yes, that's the one thing I've been focusing because normally when you run so much, um, you, you neglect the, the strength work. You think about doing more running than doing um, strength work. And since lockdown, um, it's you can't be running the whole day. So I was focusing more on my strength also. And that's the one positive thing that came out of lockdown is I was focusing a lot on my strength. And yeah, so it's really, really important even now uh, for next year. People need to run, but I must also focus on the strength work because that keeps your injuries away and that helps you to train much harder for next year. So now when last did you not run a comrades? I mean, you talked about you'd be a few weeks before the race. This must be very strange for you. Yeah, I must say my first um, comrades race was the 2nd of June 2013. That's about seven years ago. Um, and our one comrades, uh, it's about two days ago, it was four years ago. Yeah, you know, it's, 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 it, it is strange. I must say, it's, it's just funny how my mind works. You've just been thinking the whole time. You're just thinking of, okay, it would have been two weeks. Um, okay, it's two days ago. I said to myself, I can't believe it was four, four years ago when I won comrades. So, yeah, you know, your mind just, if the whole time you're just thinking about your comrades. But, you know what? Maybe this is like a blessing in disguise. It's, your body cuts the time to, to recover properly and you can, and I think next year it's going to be a bigger, better race and you know, it's going to be quite special next year because everyone will be really hungry to do well at the Commerce race to see what happened this year, how you trained during lockdown, what did you do, did you do too much training, um, did you focus on the right stuff, did you, you know, it just all depends on what's going to happen next year. 2019 was a very special year. I ran my debut Comrades Marathon and actually I ran it in honor of my dad. He passed away um, a bit before and he wasn't able to watch me run my very first Comrades Marathon. So it was really special. Um, I actually have a really great photo of me standing on the start line of the Comrades Marathon looking up to heaven with tears in my eyes but a smile on my face. And I said, Dad, I'm ready. Watch me from above. It was such an incredible race. 2020 has been quite a upsetting year but an upsetting year for everyone as an athlete it's it's quite hard when all your races and goals are taken away um, we're very driven um, and that's what pushes us and motivates us to to be able to run those races and see where where our training has taken us to so it has been a hurdle this year to be honest but everything happens for a reason and everyone's in the same situation so i'm trying just to stay positive um, and keep training but also be gentle on myself I'm, I'm doing a lot of things that i don't normally do i'm homeschooling my three daughters and doing various other things that i now have to do in this situation so i'm just being gentle on myself i'm keeping training going but i'm not training at a very very high level because i can't sustain that for for however long this is going to be so I'm just enjoying training right now I'm actually doing a few things that I don't normally do I'm doing some barking um, 
and, and loving the experience of trying new things. Riding in cleats for the first time has been quite something for me, but I've loved it. Uh, yeah, just do little things, keep motivated, keep having fun. I think if you're having fun, you'll always do, do it, no matter if there's a race or there isn't a race. So that's pretty much how I'm going about it right now. And when the races start, I'll be ready to race and super motivated. Close your eyes for a minute, close your eyes for a second, I won't change my mind. What does getting deep now, what does getting